What's going on guys, it's Rage, and welcome to day three of the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Now, I'm actually kind of curious to see how the uh, Sunday morning lobbies are. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning right now. I really didn't play a whole lot yesterday on Saturday, and even when I did play, uh, I ran into this. Turns out people are already glitching in the beta. Now, I did see a tweet from Infinity Ward saying that they did patch this. That's day two of the Modern Warfare 2 beta in the bag. We just deployed an update to fix the map exploits and Mercado. Also fixed a bug where players could equip locked weapons and and affected in-game versus menu gunsmith mechanics. So before going to bed last night, I, I had an idea in mind as to what I wanted to show off for this video here. Now, I don't know if they've already patched this. I mean, I'm assuming that they did. I'm sure by this point in time, most of you guys may already know that you can do this uh, this overkill glitch where you can put a shotgun on as your primary, throw on overkill, and it'll automatically give you the uh, Lockman 556, which is the assault rifle variant of the MP5. I've only got it up to level 11 out of 20 right now, and I, I saw a lot of other things where you can like jump on top of the roofs. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious to see if that's still a thing. Now, I also did receive a couple of comments about this on yesterday's video, which I wanted to thank you guys very much for the support on that. I uploaded my first beta video yesterday on Saturday, and I had a couple of questions asking how I was able to play this early on PS4. Well, today's the day where it's going uh, free to play open for everybody on PlayStation, and that's going to be happening in about two hours at 1 p.m. Eastern. And so by the point in time that this video goes up, it's already going to be open and free to play for everybody on PlayStation. And then later on this week on Thursday is when it opens for early access on Xbox and PC, as well as PlayStation. I think it'll still be open for everybody. And then by Saturday throughout the entire course of the weekend, it'll be open for absolutely everybody. Now, a big part of the reason as to why I didn't play much yesterday on Saturday was because, I mean, me obviously mostly being a sniper, I'm not really running around with a whole lot of red guns and still can't really do much with a Signal 50 here. All of us snipers have been using this default lone survivor class or the dead eye stalker for trying to use the mk2 oh hi hello so though so far today on sunday i haven't heard anything about if they're going to increase the level cap i would assume if they're not increasing the level cap today on sunday if they're just going to leave it at 15 throughout the course of the playstation beta i feel like that would make sense and then for next weekend they'll probably increase it to like 30 if i were to take a wild guess because the thing of it is right now is that we unlock the signal 50 at level 20 and it still says one out of one on the gunsmith i don't know if that's actually going to change by the time we get to unlock it that is if we even do i'm still very keen on seeing what this thing is going to be like once i actually start putting on the proper attachments. So even going off of yesterday's video, there's still a couple of things that I uh, want to talk about as far as just Modern Warfare 2 and some of the mechanics. Now, one of the biggest things that I've noticed here, which I'm sure you guys have definitely noticed now by this point in time, is they've gotten rid of reload canceling. So switching to the Signal 50, if I switch back here to the M4, the reload will automatically pick up where you left off. Now, I also know that people have already found ways to slide cancel. I, I haven't messed with my settings. I'm still playing on KBAM. I'm sure the logic still works the same where you can do the thing where where you uh, slide melee ADS, but it's just all of that nonsense just to slide cancel. I'm not really worried about it. I mean, just for the sake of the beta, if they really are uh, hell bent on getting rid of slide canceling, I'm sure they're going to do something to patch it at one point in time or another. So I'm not really worried about it for myself right now. I am kind of curious to see how uh, how this whole like reload canceling thing is going to play out because you can still do it. You have to be super early with it. So like the moment you go to reload and you instantly switch, then you can still switch back in time. So the theory of I'm sorry, dude. So the whole theory of like why whying and whatnot still does work, but uh, I'm curious to see if this is going to carry over into the full game. It's not even just a thing that would affect me as a sniper. Like this literally affects everybody. The little dolphin dive, 360. It's okay. Take your time. There we go. I really am curious to see what they're going to do about uh, slide canceling. Because I mean, yeah, while people have found a way to do it here in the beta, I'm trying to think of the old saying, what is it? Uh, reject modernity, embrace tradition. <laughs> reject slide canceling, embrace dolphin diving. Also, one thing that I meant to bring up in yesterday's video, how are you guys feeling about the kill feed so far? Now, while the kill feed changes like every single beta, I mean, as you guys can see right now, it only goes to four lines, which is actually something that I really do like. Having a four line, five second kill feed is absolutely ideal, but the only thing that I really feel like they need to fix is just make it so that so like fifth and sixth kills can be pushed up onto the kill feed. So if, for example, you know, obviously you go and you get a five on, like obviously the first kill will be pushed up and then faded off. It should be the exact same thing when you go to hit a collateral. Hit a collateral ending six on, you know, the first two kills get get pushed up, it's on screen for a second, then it fades off. It's like every single year they do something different with the kill feed. It's just like, what was so wrong with the original MW2 or Black Ops 1 or like really any old Call of Duty for that matter? Please just keep the kill feed the same. Not something that I personally feel like they need to change as uh, someone who still likes to snipe and go for clips and everything like that, but eh, it is what it is. Bad choice using last stand. 
Yeah, uh, you should take that off. To kind of go off of what I was saying yesterday as far as, uh, Last Stand goes, obviously I don't like it. I really don't think a lot of players in the Call of Duty community like having Last Stand back in the game. It's just one of those features that got phased out so long ago that it could probably just stay out. It's, it's better off without it. COD is much better off without Last Stand, kind of in the same light of it's much better off without stopping power. It's much better off without Juggernaut. But on that same note, though, I almost kind of understand why they may have decided to bring Last Stand into this because it functions exactly like Warzone. And I feel like they're just trying to blend both of the modes together, which is and isn't a good thing. One of my biggest criticisms, worries, uh, complaints, really, if you just want to be blunt about it, is the fact that a lot of these Call of Duty multiplayers over the past couple of years, especially with Vanguard to a lesser extent Cold War, because Cold War's multiplayer was still really good by itself. But after Warzone really started to take over, all of these multiplayers have just felt like an extension of Warzone as opposed to its own separate entity. And I'm really hoping that that's something that does get changed with the overall feeling of the Modern Warfare 2022 multiplayer. Like, I just want to hop on and play multiplayer. I'm not the biggest Warzone guy. That might change this year with Warzone 2 if I like it. But me personally, I've always been a much bigger multiplayer-focused guy. Like, that, that's just what I've been doing for 15 years, and I've never gotten tired of it. Somehow, some way. I know, it's psychotic. So again, though, I feel like that was the biggest reason as to why they decided to bring a survivalist into the game, is to make it feel more like Warzone. But it's just, for multiplayer, it's so annoying. Obviously, we're all used to the idea of uh, knocking somebody, putting them into last stand when it comes to rebirth and war zone, everything like that. It's just, that's how it works in that game mode, but not in multiplayer. It's been phased out of multiplayer for so long. At least if there's going to be something like it, it'd probably be like the MW3 ballistic vests or armor plates, like those field upgrades and whatnot. It's just like a slight nuisance. Last stand is just, you are annoying. You are just extremely annoying. Last stand is simply just not it for multiplayer. I, I would really hope that they do uh, change it to an armor plate if they're going to keep anything like that. Better yet, just get rid of it. I love you, but please just get rid of it. I love you, Call of Duty, but please, man, don't don't do this to me. Now, I wonder if this is what they were talking about. Um, I wasn't able to do this yesterday. Uh, I don't know if it's just my frame rate or if I just don't know how to make this jump properly, but I know that you were able to like jump on, uh, hello, not mantle over it, jump on the ledge. You were able to like jump on this ledge, then jump up on top of the arch, then you can jump on top of the roof. Um, I'll go ahead and put a video up. Now, getting up on top of the roof is actually something that I think is really interesting and has that kind of like old school Call of Duty quirk. I almost kind of view it as like getting up on top of the roof on high rise or something like that. It's just, it's a little quirk on the map that's specific to it. I really don't even think it's like that bad of a thing. Honestly, I wouldn't really mind if they kept it in the game, but if they did end up patching that and you can't go on the roof anymore, I see why they would do that. I mean, getting up on top of the high rise roof was actually something that they had built into the map. I just don't know if getting up on top of there was something that they had uh, intended. Now, also speaking of maps, there was something that broke yesterday on Twitter that apparently the uh, Marina Grand Prix map was completely removed. Grand Prix was supposed to be a map that we were going to play at some point during the beta. Maybe they would have added it this weekend or next weekend when it goes completely free to play for everybody. But uh, apparently it's been removed off of like all of Call of Duty social platforms. They've gotten rid of the trailer off their YouTube. It's completely off their Twitter. Charlie Intel tweeted it yesterday though. Uh, I know Charlie Intel, Modern Warzone, a couple of other pages brought it up. They've just completely wiped the slate clean of it and maybe it's not going to be in the beta or or maybe they're just removing the map entirely, which would be really weird to do. I find it really interesting, though, because I thought I saw a tweet from somebody who got to play it early saying that it was their favorite map. Probably some weird copyright issue with F1, but I would assume that all of these copyright laws are well sorted, are sorted well before the game even goes into development or even before, like, the map is greenlit, anything like that for development. If it turns out, though, that the map just got completely removed, I'm actually going to be kind of sad about that because the idea of that map actually did sound really, really cool. I mean, come on, supposed to be fighting on an F1 racetrack while a race is going on. That sounds sick. Whip out the old iPad here, calling the airstrike. I feel like it's such a small detail, but I really love like this like modern take on it. Like you whip out the iPhone to call in your UAV. That's so cool. Guess again, you really could say it's very modern. Get it? It's funny because we're playing a game that's called Modern Warfare. Ha ha ha. Yeah, okay, anyways. That's tough, dog. You'll really hate to see it. <laughs> yeah, that base shotgun at a distance. Oh, he was alive? I thought that man was dead. Nope, just a Modern Warfare player, just uh, laying in the back of the map. Okay, buddy. So again, though, at the time that I recorded this video, it's still relatively early on Sunday morning. They haven't sent out any major updates yet. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do for the rest of the day today and going into tomorrow. Going into tomorrow on Monday, I don't know if they're going to increase the level cap because for me personally, I feel like I just don't have much to do right now because I've just been stuck at level 15. Uh, if they 
they do increase the level cap, they might later today. I don't know. So far, though, I still am enjoying the beta. Like, I, I'm enjoying playing this game right now. It was also really nice to see a couple of other YouTubers that I watched talk about how they also like the maps. The maps are really serviceable for 6v6 right now. I'm very excited to see, like, what else they're going to add, how it's going to feel with 10v10, 9v9, when they actually add hardpoint. I'm really looking forward to that, but just right now, I'm like... I need more levels. I need to actually customize my snipers, please. So on that note, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this quick little video. Just wanted to sit down, play for a little bit, still talk about a couple of things. And again, go ahead and let me know how you guys are finding the Modern Warfare 2 beta down in the comment section below. I still really am enjoying the feel of the game personally. It's just for me right now, I'm just waiting to get more levels and uh, do stuff with some more snipers. But again, though, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.